Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Study Planet. I'm Trisha this side and today we're gonna study a new chapter that is our changing earth. So let's start. So first we'll take a tour of our earth, all the processes and all the things in going on in our earth. So let's see that. So now you saw everything and now we are gonna study everything in detail once again okay these were just a glance this was just a glance on all the topics now let's study them all in detail now the first topic which we have for today is lithospheric plates so let's start with the topic all right great so now let's see about these lithospheric plates now what is lithosphere lithosphere is basically land okay now lithospheric plates are basically the plates in the land so a lithosphere is broken down into several plates called lithospheric plates now these lithospheric plates are plates i will repeat it once again plates inside land or you can say plates inside the lithosphere or you can also say that plates that combine and make the lithosphere now i have a tidbit basically a new fact about the lithospheric plates which says that these plates are moving around very slowly each year just a few millimeters okay now you would say that these lithospheric plates move but why do they move right there must be some reason for moving right so let's see that reason in the next slide all right so why are these plates moving this is because of the movement of the molten magma inside the earth now there's another new term out here that is molten magma okay this term magma now what does this mean let's see that now this term means the lava okay it's lava only but inside the earth now the lava that is inside the earth is called magma but when this comes out of the volcanoes it becomes lava all right so there is no difference it's just the same but just the terms become different like when it is inside the earth it is magma and when it is outside the earth it is lava now the molten magma inside the earth moves in a circular manner okay so it moves in a circular manner which moves these lithospheric plates a bit each time all right now let's move on let's move on to the forces now right now the movement of the earth is divided into two parts on the basis of the forces okay now earth's forces are divided into two parts endogenic forces and exogenic forces endogenic forces are the forces inside the earth that are sudden forces and diastrophic forces now what are diastrophic forces so by the example you could understand building of mountains you could understand that diastrophic forces are forces that take a long time to be completed okay so like building of mountains is a very very huge process like it takes years and years to build a mountain okay now sudden forces sudden is a self explanatory word sudden means ekdam se right at that moment immediately okay i have given a lot of synonyms here okay so immediately the forces which occur immediately volcanoes are occurring then earthquakes are occurring landslides are occurring and many more things are occurring right so earthquakes and volcanoes and landslides are some of the sudden endogenic forces now we will study uh, the mechanism behind earthquakes and volcanoes in part 2 of our changing earth chapter 
okay and now let's come to the exogenic forces exogenic forces are outside the earth or on the surface of the earth okay which consist of erosion erosional and depositional processes so the exogenic forces occur in the form of erosional and depositional forces all right now now the some of the examples are river wind sea waves glaciers etc we will study the mechanism of each and every part river wind sea waves and glaciers each and everything we will study in detail in this chapter so stay tuned my next video would come soon thank you everyone for watching please like share and subscribe my channel Thank you and have a nice day.